Only Farm Guy here, and in this video we're going to be looking at the massive update to the Vulture T-Series CVT South America by Sir Vertex and Pedro Amorum on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map because we're going to be doing some uh, tillage with these. 44.48 uh, megabytes to download. They are 29 slots. Well, it is just the one tractor, 29 slots on console. There is a plethora of options. So let's look at it first in the store. We're going to go through this. I'm not going to read the update changelog. It's changelog uh, 2000, and it is massive. It would take me 10 minutes to read it all. It's like Oh my goodness, it is, it is, it's a massive update. So instead, we're just going to go through the vehicle as if it was new, because it's practically new <laughs> with all those updates. Th uh, 195 to 320 horsepower, CVT transmission, 500 liters of fuel, 34 miles per hour. So, mud guards. Let's start with the mud guards. We have front mud guards, no. We have yes. Then we have no to everything. And then yes to the front. And no, we have added to the back, and then yes. So, kind of yes and no, yes, no, yes, no. It's not really, but you can scroll through whatever you want here. We're just going to go with yes. <laughs> Engines, the T195 CVT. So, we, we start with the 195. We go the 210, 230, 250, 280. 320 is the chipped version, but it's still CVT. And that's your maximum horsepower. Notice it's going a bit slow. Apologies for that, but um, I think because there's so many options, it kind of slows things down as as you might um, might have experienced with some other mods. Now, Wheel Brands Michelin, Trelleborg, Midas, Continental, BKT, Rice Wheels One, Two, Lizard, Michelin, and back to Trelleborg. So we're going to go through. All the wheel choices, there is a bunch of wheel choices. Uh, many of them are very similar to each other. We do have um, interesting sugar cane spacing and then a sugar cane spacing 2, which is kind of new. It lines up the fenders, so this one doesn't line up the fenders. This one lines up the fenders. And back to standard, Midas. We have several uh, very similar choices. Uh, we do have a super wide Midas version, so there's there's um, and narrows. So yeah, I'm I'm not going to name every tire because a lot of them are very similar. And as a, as a matter of fact, I do believe we have shown actually all the different kinds of tires that are available. BKT, we also have, let's see here, is it BKT? Yeah, they all have various, yeah. It's the tread pattern that really um, differentiates. Uh, Lizard, we do have a big wide in Lizard. In Michelin, do we have a wide? No, we don't have a wide. So Trelleborg, yeah. You get the idea with the tires, lots of different tires. Lights, standard, LED par. Rear hood, front and rear, front and hood, hood and rear, all LED. And then we have headlight model 2. Light 2 LED, uh, rear, hood, front and rear, front and hood, hood and rear, all LED bars, and then standard. So lots of light options, GPS, yes, or with monitor. Visualization no, only, it's not functional. Glass, we have medium, strong, or standard. Uh, front weight, uh, zero, we have 110, 120, 330, 440, 550, 660, 770, 880, 1145. I don't see where the difference is there. Okay. It adds, oh, is it underneath? Oh, there it is, a little bit underneath. And then back to 120. Now this is gonna change depending on what accessories 
um, later on. So we have barrels, bottle, uh, bottle and barrel, wheel weights. This is on the rear, so we have no, we have 320, which I believe is inside, I believe is an inside weight. 480, you see it starts seeing it on the outside, and it goes up to 1280 kilograms. Work configuration. We have a rice shovel or forest protection. Um, or no. Then we go down to daytime running lights, which is something I've maybe only seen once before. We have no, we have front DRL, headlight circle DRL, front and headlight circle, side turn, side turn and front, side turn, headlight circle, and you get the idea. It's, yeah. Beacons, no, we got side beacon here, right? There we go, on the top. Dual beacon, side beacon two, Beacon 3, Beacon 4, or no. So four choices of beacon, right, left, or, or both. Attachers, we have standard. We have trailer hitch added. We have transshipment coupling. Not sure what exactly that means. We have a three point. Does it change? Ah, yes. If you pick the three, three point, your weights go away. And a three point is added to the front. Three-point plus trailer trailer hitch. Three-point plus transshipment. And then back to standard, if you go to standard. So we're going to leave the weights on the front. You get to see, you got the idea with the, um, that numbers up here, right behind, beside the tank. We have steering wheel one. We have steering wheel two. Steering wheel with Voltra logo on the cabin rear. You can see it here that the the there it is so if we go there there it appears um, again more logos more plates oh that's the license plate more oh it's <laughs> I haven't seen so many options for a steering wheel um exhaust standard standard with turbocharger discharge direct with turbocharger we have short direct with turbocharger and standard so yeah let's just go with the um, that one uh, front loader if you put the front loader on it will make that cage go away so uh, it's kind of up to you you can have either or you have the forestry cage or the front loader we'll go with the forestry cage at the at the moment flags this is interesting Brazil, not so interesting. Uh, EUA. Um, translation problem, maybe? Uh, obviously, United States of America flag. EUA is uh, United... United... Oh, EUEA is United Arab Emirates. Or U, UEA. Something... Uh, well, it's definitely not EUA. But anyways... Uh, <laughs> Uh, we have Argentina, we have Africa, France, England, Paraguay, Uruguay, Portugal, or no. So, um, I like the newly renamed EUA. We'll go with that. Uh, CB antennas, top of the cabin, side, all antennas. Uh, it is uh, precision farming ready with the Asaria Pro Compact. Yes chassis color now that's uh there's some interesting color combinations that actually changes the color of the chassis and the forestry and the front weight as you see there but they are very uh shall we say um it's more of a subtle color change yeah nothing bright main color then has a very strong contrast we have um every color you could imagine probably a very wide of course I'd pick green um, uh, even let's see what's that oh a pretty wide palette of colors here um, that's the only chrome one that I see though and then uh, weight color no I don't I want to check pick the weight colors now the weight colors 
uh, Giants colors plus a few standard uh, or plus a few other colors. Exhaust, that's pretty much those choices there. That looks more chromey. That looks a little bit brighter. Barrel color, that's the uh, color of that barrel at the side. If we make it chrome, there we go. And rim color, yes, we can choose the color of the rims. Uh, can we do that uh, chrome? Yeah, look at that. And a license plate. All right. It's not over, folks, yet. Um, let's get our help window on and hop in to this fellow here. Now, what's uh, really interesting... We'll get to it. We have a very interesting option that I I don't remember seeing as a um, in-vehicle option. So we'll get to that first. Um, well, actually, actually we'll, we will get to that first because our control group is one. Control group run one. Open cover function turns 4x4 four four off. This is extremely interesting. Uh, if we go in cab, how do you know it's, if it's on or if it's off? Well very easy to tell L1 and left on your d-pad is open cover and that means it turns on or off now you see something going here but what actually indicates it whether it's on or off is see uh, pay attention to the dashboard right beside this to the left of the speed or the tachometer I will turn it on you'll see the little green icon pop up on your dashboard that means your four-wheel drive is on and active press it again and it turns off so that uh, well among the performance issues well not issues a, a difference in performance will actually show uh, will actually tell you so right now it is off So just driving it around, uh, you can't really tell too much either way um, if it's on or off. However, let's hook up to this uh, piece of equipment here and we'll hire a worker. Uh, this is a nine mile per hour um, rated piece of equipment knows it's it's kind of struggling a little bit the rpm's bouncing we're not get we're not hitting that nine mile per hour consistently or strongly and notice the front wheels tend to lock up when you're moving and braking right there all right let's go back inside l1 and uh left and now we are in four-wheel drive. Let's try that again with the worker. Now we are just up to the nine miles per hour. RPM is steady and uh, our speed is consistent. So it actually does make a difference. It's, it's, quite, uh, it's quite interesting to say the least. Now, um, there was one other thing. Turn off control group. So right now, we uh, we have the control groups turned off. That's another th interesting thing. I just I I did see it before. It's like oh, what's this? And so what actually that means is if you look at your L1, R1, and so forth, we don't have any options like crop sensor, lower cultivator, and then open the cover. So the reason it has the open cover to the... Uh, I wonder if that's going to interfere with... It did mention that the... Uh, yeah. The description did mention something about uh, interference with opening the cover. I'm, we're going to investigate... You know what? Let's... Let's investigate that now because I will forget. See, now our control groups are back on. And we don't have the... Oh, I see. Okay, so there's lots of things... <laughs> I thought I looked at this earlier. There's lots of things going on here. Let's 
buy a trailer because that's going to have a cover that needs to be opening. So I think once you connect to something, that's where you can turn off or on your control groups. I think that's what it meant by option to turn them on or off. Yeah, see, now we don't have them. We have tip side back and open cover. Yeah, that's what I thought. Unfortunately, even with the control groups, let's turn on the control groups. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have a problem with um, yeah. cedars and the like that you have to open. See, I can't open, I can't open the cover on this trailer. Uh, let's detach it and turn on, turn off. Yeah, it still has the open cover option even when I'm, and that, that's changing the cover on the close cover, open cover, turn on control groups. Yeah, now I have all the control groups. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, even though it tried to fix the problem, we have the open cover problem. It's unfortunately the same button as opening the cover. And unfold, lower cedar, turn on cedar. We don't even have an open cover option now at all, do we? Hold on. Yeah, okay, well, let's, uh, let's go through what you can do when you don't have something hooked up. So let's turn on our control groups. Now we can scroll through the four different control groups we have. Control group one, that's, we talked about that already, the four by four. Press your triangle again and external animations. L1, that's still closed cover, that's still your four-wheel drive. That goes through every one of them. R1. R1 and right stick, left and right. Actually, it opens up. Uh, oh, left and right. Uh, to the right, there we go. Opens up that engine cover. Up and down, actually opens your hood. Right. Kind of neat there. L1 and R1, left stick, left and right. Uh, actually adjusts your front suspension a little bit. Not a lot, but it does. Up and down a bit. Uh, and that's your animation, external animations too. We go, you hit it one more, one more, internal animations. And here we are inside with all the, um, the monitors and so forth. L1, again, close cover. That's your four wheel drive. R1, right stick, left, and... Uh, oh, yes. This is your chair. Right and left. Up and down is your sunshade. L1 and R1, right stick, is... your steering wheel. You can uh, telescopic, telescopic adjustment. Up and down is your tilt. Uh, control group, mirror adjustment. L1, right stick, left and right, up and down. R1, your right mirror, L1 and R1, nothing. Hit it again. Cover functions, uh, we did have... Where was our doors? Ah, oh, there it is, R1 right stick. So it's under open cover, four by four uh, off. <laughs> Thought it was something there. So many of them, oh dear. Um, right. Um, yeah. 
Lights? These are all the extra lights. There's the beacons. Almost forgot about that. With all the kerferfling signals. Lights. Beacons. Right, so just as another example, we have the base game fertilizer spreader, which unfortunately I cannot open the lid to. So I know if you come up to fertilizer, now this can be somewhat bypassed if you come, if you, let's just say buy a big bag of fertilizer and you come up to it, it will automatically open for you like so. But if you want to fill it from a silo, then you're going to need to open up the, uh, going to need to open up the lid and you cannot with this tractor because the um, open cover function is um, overridden by the uh, function of the tractor. Now if you have another vehicle and you've opened the cover on a trailer you can then hook up to it and use it but it just seems all very inconvenient. So as much as this was a big massive update and it has plenty of really cool stuff, uh, that one little problem might be a bit too much for some of you. Um, I know for me it would be a very, uh, it could po quite possibly become a quite a big point of frustration and lead lead me not to ye be, be using it so um, hopefully that gets corrected uh, that's really the only thing I mean everything else seems to work fine it's just unfortunately that's little that little thing that little conflict there with the open cover uh, choice on console now on on PC there's uh, likely well you have many more buttons uh, to choose from so unfortunately on console there's a limited number of button combinations and it seems like this one has hit the magic no-no button but having all said that uh, there you have it the Vulture T-Series CVT South America by Sir Vertex and Pedro Amorum update change on 2001 Farming Simulator 22 thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one Bye for now.